Hello everyone, my name is Pepsilk and before we start, apologies if I sound a bit off or sick. Uh, I just got out of COVID for the second time um, a few days ago and I've, I've got long COVID now and I got a bit of a cough and um, my throat may sound a little off. So apologies if I don't sound 100%, but enough of that. Today, I want to talk about why it's okay to wait for GTA 6. Now, last week, for those who may not have seen it, but if you're a gamer, you would have seen it. If not, you're living under a rock. Just kidding. Um, the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer released uh, to the world after it, it was supposed to release um, like 1 a.m. for us Australians on the day it was supposed to come out, but because it got leaked, it uh, ended up dropping earlier than expected. And it's garnered over like 140 million views in over six days, which is freaking insane. For a, for a game trailer like this is more than like a typical music artist or something and the trailer for the most part just initial thoughts was amazing i love that it, it referenced a lot of the things that ha have happened in florida like the florida joker <clears throat> or the the girl twerking on the car like those are all based on real events or like that karen um at the end who had like the two weapons in her hands i, I thought that was dope uh, the graphics looked amazing. I, I think it's going to be another game-changing game, like every Rockstar game always is, because they put their heart and soul into their products. Um, and I'm just really excited. But then comes the late part. 2025. What? Yeah. 2025. Everybody lost their minds. Hell, I lost my mind for a moment. Thinking to myself... We've been waiting 10 years for Grand Theft Auto 6, and now we have to wait two more? Jesus, Murphy. It, it, it was something, and I was watching a lot of like streamers and content creators react to it, and every reaction was pretty much the same. Oh my god, we have to wait two more years for this? And honestly, I think that's the main thing that a lot of people are criticizing with Grand Theft Auto 6, aside from its... Florida moments and all the other parts that people may be talking about. It's the release date itself, or the release year, I should say, itself. And <clears throat> has garnered a lot of attention to the point where I think majority of the internet believes that the game should just come out in 2024 or next year instead of 2025. And I'm honestly going to have to go on a leg here and disagree that people, uh, that, that the game should come out in 2024. And I believe that's because of a few things, you know, let's be honest. Let's start with 2023. 2023 has been like a really good year for gaming, right? We've had so many good games come out this year. We've had Hogwarts Legacy, Remnant 2, Dead Space and Resident Evil 4 remakes. Um, what other games are there? I can't think of everything off the top of my head. Diablo 4, screw it. Let's put that in there. Baldur's Gate 3, Alan Wake 2. These are just like a few titles um that i can think of that have come out this year but like 2023 has been one of the best years for gaming in a really long time i don't think we've had a good of a year as this year when it comes to just constant good releases like 2022 was only Elden ring and god of war ragnarok and i know there may be other sleeper titles there <coughs> that i haven't mentioned please let me know in the comments what other sleeper games there are but those are the only two big games like to come out last year that were the talk of the town um from their release like outer ring was talk of the town all year and ragnarok towards the end of the year was talk of the town um you know for ps5 but we've also had horrible titles this year and i'd argue it's <coughs> excuse me one of the worst years for gaming at the same time we had so many bad titles we had star wars jedi survivor on pc uh, which the pc port was horrible it was so bad that i just didn't end up playing it after three hours and decided to wait. But even with all the time that I've been waiting for it with the patches and all that, I haven't had the motivation to re-download it and play it. And that's on respawn for fucking up the PC port. So there's that. Uh, Redfall, another another anticipated game by a studio known for making single player games, Arcane Studios themselves. That game ended up being one of the most disappointing and embarrassing games of this year. Um, terrible open world, bad performance, horrible gameplay loop, and just not enjoyable at all. If anything, people probably got their few hours of, they got their few hours of fame or satisfaction out of it from just playing on the freaking Game Pass. So I feel like the majority of people that play Redfall probably played that on the Game Pass. So yeah, that, that game was out of it. 
Lord of the Rings Gollum, another disappointing game. Um, <clears throat> horrible stealth, horrible action adventure, stealth game, whatever the heck you want to call it. More performance issues, just ran, ran really bad. And lastly, we have Forspoken, the last example I have, Forspoken. Now, Forspoken, I think the gameplay is like, firstly, I think it's okay. I wouldn't say it's bad. What ruins Forspoken is the fucking story. The story and the dialogue of the main character is so bad, they purposely wrote the protagonist to be, um, I think her name is Frey, if I remember, to be a, um, I guess like an antagonist or someone that you just don't want to root for, which I think is just embarrassing. They think that they're going to write a bad protagonist on purpose to try and get people to resonate with them or something like that just never works 95% of the time. Unless there's, unless there's some sort of bad event or like a, a flashback to the past that they have that makes you want to root for them but there's none of that in Forspoken it's just you a talking a talking object and lots of cringe dialogue so yeah and I feel like with the way that the, the year has been like you gotta realize that if they were to drop the game in 2024 I, I just think that it wouldn't be it would probably still be good but it wouldn't be to Rockstar's um intense it wouldn't be how they envisioned it it wouldn't be what they want it to be and Seeing that all the other games have been just in one to two year development cycles and have just flopped horribly, they want to give it a bit more time to cook in the oven. And that's a good thing because more time means means better gameplay, better looks, better performance. You know, the overdeveloped, you know, an overdeveloped story, which I Rockstar does with all of their titles. Their stories are like out of this world, <clears throat> regardless of which game you play. So yeah that's 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 that and then another thing to consider would be the time between the last few rockstar titles now if we go back from say uh gda4 uh gda4 came out in 2008 follow, followed up with max Payne 3 in 2012 but there may be another game between that period let me know if i missed something please um gda5 in 2013 uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 in 2018, so that's a five-year period, and now we have a five-year period. Well, when GTA 6 uh, comes out, it will be a seven-year period. Yeah, seven-year period between... Is it seven? Yeah, seven years between G uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 and Grand Theft Auto 6. And I think as time has gone on, Rockstar have realized that they want to spend more time <coughs> working on their products. And while I think that's a good thing, I think another thing is that you've got to consider the the theories and and why um, and think and the things that people have speculated as to why GTA 6 has been delayed for so long. Because knowing Rockstar, they would have dropped it by now. I think that they would have come out with it so long ago. And my theory is this: I believe it's something to do with the GTA Online component of Grand Theft Auto 5 and GTA um, modding in general. Um, I think that. From all the content updates and the amount of money that they make from those bloody shark cards and the game being incredibly cheap and re-released on a bunch of consoles and all that like rockstar saw that as an opportunity to just keep online pumping i mean they kept it pumping um so badly that they terminated well okay that's a bit much they didn't terminate but they stopped development on red dead online because of how well uh gda online was doing and it sucks because I think Red Dead Online has the potential to be the best online that Rockstar has ever done and they squandered it within a few years because of how well GDA was doing. I wish that Rockstar could go back and just continue working on it and giving us updates for it, but I don't think we're ever going to get that now. It's been over two years since they stopped it, I believe. So, you know, that that's that's really unfortunate. But my theory, my theory still stands. GDA Online and modding, especially like roleplay and all that, has a big part in uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 making a lot of money and just them um, wanting to continue releasing um, DLC or, or content updates um, for that aspect, you know? I remember back then with GTA 5, everyone was talking about story DLC, even Rockstar themselves. It's because Rockstar themselves mentioned that we're going to do story DLC. The only DLC that we've gotten is in GTA Online, which is GTA Online's The Contract, where you, you get Franklin um, back for the first time in a long time to see what he's been up to and all that kind of stuff and you know while that's all cool you know i i would have loved to see some story dlc but off track point is they they um they i think that's that's the reason why uh gda 6 has been delayed for so long and 
As far as I'm concerned, I think they've only been working on GTA 6 for over a year. I remember it was earlier this year, I think. They, um, you know, those leakers or the guy leaked the freaking GTA on, um, 6 build and everyone thought it was going to look like ass, this and that, this and that, like, and then everyone saw the trailer and all of a sudden everyone's minds change. Like, that was a very early build to begin with, so I don't know why people want to complain about that. Um, so yeah, there's that. And... The last reason, which I think is a, a really good reason that people can argue with me if we were to have some sort of argument or conversation about it, um, is the PC release. Now, after the trailer went live, Rockstar made an official uh, website uh, for the GTA 6 trailer. And in that website, it says it says that they're only going to be developing or and um, blah, 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 blah. they're only going to be developing, sorry, the game for um, the Xbox series and PlayStation 5 consoles for 2025. So there's been no, there's been no talk about um, a PC release. Rockstar hasn't said anything about PC, as far as I'm concerned. They've been snubbing and keeping people quiet. <coughs> I'm sorry, keeping quiet um, about the PC situation. Whether or not that is subject to change in the next two years, we don't know. They may end up just um, surprising us with a PC release or, or a PC announcement. It's, we got a lot of time from now till 2025, because I don't think it's going to come out to like September or spring of, of 2025 for the US. So that's almost two years. So plenty of time for them to maybe um, work on the PC release on top of the consoles. But if, if, if it's not the case and it comes out in 2025 <clears throat> um, for consoles, PC usually have to wait around a year or two years. Like it took them a year uh, to port Red Dead 2 over to PC. And for GTA 5, I think it took them like, I think it took them Two years, two years um, after the P after the console release, it came out on PC. But having to wait uh, on PC for those that you know, you know, for PC players that may not have a, a current gen console, like that really hurts. And I can see that being a very re reasonable argument when it comes to having to wait, because we essentially, as PC games, I have a PS5, so I'm I don't have anything to worry about personally, and it's not like a big deal. For me but i know for a lot of other people that have pcs and either can't afford a current gen console or just can't get one having to wait another year on top of having to wait two years right now that's basically three years or four years even for the game to come out on pc it's just it's a really slow process and i wish i wish that rockstar hired like a porting studio like nixus software for example right nixus software helped port um the spider-man games um the PlayStation games, some of the PlayStation exclusives, and like Deus Ex Human Revolution, like they're well known for porting games over to PC, and they do them really well. And but I haven't seen anything on Rockstar like hiring a studio or like a company to help them work on a PC version. Because if they were to hire a company, I think that would be the best way to go to ensure that it comes out the same time as consoles. So that way they can just work on the game and also work with the porting studio at the same time to kind of, you know, help bring the game over to PC. I think that would be the best case scenario for it to come out in 2025 as well. But it really sucks that um, if that's the case, we have to wait longer. And I mean, to be honest, I'm at a point personally where we've already waited 10 years for GTA 6. What's wrong with waiting a few more, right? <clears throat> and, and and then you've got like lastly just another thing to fly close the video off is the freaking rumors of gda 6 being like 150 dollars and that's in us that is an insane amount of money for a game and i hope to god it's not true because if it is a lot of people myself included i'm probably going to end up buying it at that price let's be real a lot of people are going to be buying it at that money it doesn't even matter how long people have waited for gda 6 they're going to buy it regardless but I hope to God that's not true. A game costing $150 is an absolute joke. It should not be $150. Bucks. That's just, that's ridiculous for, for, for a game. Because the problem is if it ends up doing well, people are going to, companies are going to take notes and start charging their games for $150. Bucks. Like why buy that? Well, you can buy a console, like a pre-owned console from an old generation for the same price and get more games out of it from that generation. Of consoles you know like it, it's mind-boggling but yeah, i just wanted to wanted to mention that um but to close off the video i think people shouldn't really complain about gda 6 and it be coming out in 2025 i like that the memes have sparked such as the uh 
surviving till 2025 meme and then people mentioning you know we're going to be in black ops 2 by then which, which is true because black ops 2 takes place in 2025 the memes that have come out are, are, are hilarious um but i think people shouldn't worry too much about it let rock give rockstar time realize that 20 all the disappointing games we've had this year and just think about just you know there's always other games to play you could keep playing gda 5 you could keep playing gda online or or role play whatever you want to do you could you can play another live service game you can play single player games like there's plenty of other games that you can play it's not the end of the world with the gda 6 day just give us some time we'll get some trailers soon they're going to build us some hype eventually that's going to they're going to give us more uh trailers so be on the lookout for those for sure and just know that it's okay to wait there's no need to be afraid and be and be and be concerned or just be impatient play other games time is going to fly before you even know it and then and, and then 2025 hits boom it's the year of gda 6. so yeah i just wanted to do a, a bit of yapping about gda 6 and you know just give us some time and it'll do good so yeah um thanks for listening i really want to do more of these um off script commentary videos i think it's a good way to get my thoughts out to the internet and yeah and just not be writing and typing all the time because most of my videos is usually just that and i want to be doing more of this sort of commentary with anything game related really so let me let me let me know in the comments if you guys missed it if i missed anything and um subscribe for more and i'll have more coming to you soon peace